what's up guys welcome back to another video and if you're new here welcome welcome come on in i appreciate you stopping by today and i hope you're doing well so today i'm gonna be doing a makeup look so i gathered up all of the palettes that i own they're about 30 and i added each and every one of those names in here since i haven't used many of the palettes i'm actually on a no makeup palette buy so let's see what I get. I would like to hit pan on at least one of them or multiple colors before I make another purchase. That's just me. Let's see. So the Naked Palette too. That is so damn random because I haven't used that palette in so long. So this is Naked Palette too. So what I'm going to be doing is every time that I get one, I'm going to be putting it to the side until all of them are used up. Here I have the Naked Palette too. As you can see, it's all beat up, banged up, but it's still holding on. And I have actually hit pan on multiple colors here. I have not used this palette in over a good year. I've had it for two years now. So <laughs> I'm just shook because this brings back so many memories. I can't wait to show you guys the makeup look that I come up with. This is actually shimmery and I'm going to go ahead and apply it on both eyes. I have no idea what look I'm going to create, but it's actually a throwback for me. So let's see. You can tell this on its own looks very cool and it's actually a primer for eyeshadow. So let's see. It's in the color Sin Champagne Shimmer. Urban Decay. First color that I'm going to go in is with Foxy. And if you can see my mustache, <laughs> don't mind it. I'm actually letting my stash grow <laughs> because I want to do a review on a product and give you guys my 100% opinion to see if it works or not. I cannot just only have peach fuzz and give you a review on that. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. I'm going to pick up that shade Foxy with this fluffy brush and apply it all over the lid where I'm gonna apply the next shadow. I actually really like this primer potion and the color Sin because I usually always forget to apply like shimmer or anything on the brow bone and that actually helps give a good shimmer because I forget all the time. So the next shade that I'm gonna pick up from this palette is this color that I already hit pan on and it's in the color Tease right here and i'm also going to pick up that same fluffy brush i usually add tape to my corners that way it doesn't make a mess and it makes it easier for me to uh apply but uh, today i'm not gonna use any tape i'm gonna skip that and just apply it i'm gonna do a little throwback and show you guys my makeup look that i used to do from two years ago I cannot wait to do my Q&A and I have written down all the questions that you guys asked in that video. So I'm just going to add this shadow from here to here. Blending it in. Blend, 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 blend. Like my homegirl Lala said, blend until your hands fall off. I always feel like one eye always comes out more blended than the other. And it's funny to me because... The first one, it's like, okay, the kids are fed, they're good, the baby girl's diapers change, kiddo's good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a YouTube video. And then 15, 20 minutes later, it's like, oh, they need something, I gotta hurry. So I half ass it on the second part of the eye. <laughs> and I always realize one eye is more blended out, and the other one is just half assed So hubby's home, and he's with the kiddos. And I told him, I'm going to do my eye makeup look today and I need peace and quiet. <laughs> and now it's um, I have my makeup corner in the bedroom before it used to be in the kitchen. And I'm just really happy because now I can have the door closed. Why didn't I think about it before? I've been all over the place. I used to be in Emiliano's room and then in the living room and then in the kitchen. And now I'm in the bedroom. So... I finally settled in and made my decision and I'm not moving from here. <laughs> okay guys, so now I'm back about an hour later, just finished having dinner 
and I want to go ahead and off camera finish the other eye. So now we're going to continue where we left off and I'm going to go ahead and pick up the next shade. It's called Snake Bite right here. This is darker brown and I'm going to put it just below where I added the first color. We're going to go ahead and go in with this color right here. Before I even put tape, I used to use a flat end of a card of anything really. Usually like the card from the eyelashes, the side of it. And that's what would help me get that firm line. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of that black, which is very, 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 very pigmented. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it in. I'm going to pick up a fluffy brush. Get that blended in. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on the other side right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the shade that I'm going to use next. It's called Blackout. And it's a very, very matte pigmented black. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on the other side right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the shade that I'm going to use next. It's called Blackout. And it's a very, very matte pigmented black. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same method that I would do way back then. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Chopper, and then I'll go ahead and pick up Booty Call. And the first finger here, I have Chopper, and here's Booty Call. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just apply Chopper all over the lid here, at least halfway, I'd say. And then with the lighter shade, which is Booty Call. I'm going to go ahead and just apply it right in the middle. And that's pretty much all I would do for my makeup look. What do you guys think? Now I'm going to go ahead and put eyeliner and lashes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and this is a finished makeup look with lashes, eyeliner and all. I also went ahead and did my lippy like I would two years and a half ago or so with a black lip liner and a dark lippy in the middle. So the lashes that I'm using today are in the 3D Silk Cherry Blossom number 923 and I got them for $1.99. If you guys like them, please let me know and I'll definitely pick them up for a future giveaway as well. These are the lashes. I really, really like them and I'm happy that I picked them out. And the lippy that I'm using today is a Super Stay Matte Ink Maybelline New York in the shade 85. I really like it, but I do not recommend you use it on its own. Definitely put a lip liner over it. <laughs> a lip gloss over it. So, this is what the lippy looks like. Um, They actually feel really drying. I really like it, but definitely do not recommend it because it's very very drying feels like you have like a like a sticker that is about to peel off but if you put a lip gloss over it all-time favorite lip gloss here by victoria's secret and it's in the shade stardust right here in case you guys are picking it up never pick it up on its own definitely pick it up when they have a I won't get one free or even. this is a black lip liner with a brown lippy and I have never put lip gloss over that combo and so I'm just like right here really shook and I had used this before over and over again of course two years back or three or so especially back in high school but I had never put lip gloss over this combo so I'm just a little shook 
and throw back with the naked palette too i want to go ahead and do a throwback on my makeup look as well along with the lippy i just want to go ahead and add a new step which was the lip gloss and i really really dig it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup look let me know what you think in the comments down below would you like to see more of my throwback looks i really appreciate you guys stopping by until next time guys have a good week weekend saturday friday whatever day it is i post this video until next time guys bye